Beatles. So I'm going to come on to Jaded Hearts Club Band, uh-huh. which w- there was also a release recently, wasn't it? There was the, the yeah, Live yeah. at the 100 Club. Can, yeah. can you tell me a bit about um, how you got into that and, and sort of, is that a kind of release for you? I imagine it'd be a nice release for a musician to do something like that. It is, you know, it's the, absolutely the right, word, the right way to say it because I guess the fun thing about that is the fact that, um, I mean, to be honest, it kind of felt like, it feels like um, it did at the very, very beginning, like when I was 16, picking up an instrument for the first time because there's such a, a naive, a naivety and a purity about it because there's no real agenda, there's no motive, there's no, there's no, um, there's no plan. It's just playing music for music's sake because of the, the sheer enjoyment that, that you get out of it. No one needs to be doing this, you know, it's just, um, it's just sort of born out of friendship and a desire to play music with other people and it's very pure in that way which which is very refreshing after after being um after this being my becoming my job for such a long time you know it's kind of easy to get to um to lose sight of of um of of the of that of that aspect of it unfortunately but it's so it's not it's really fun it's really fun to just and also you know i knew i mean we're all i mean we're all friends now of course but i didn't know I didn't really know Miles that well, for example, going into it. I'd never met Graham before, so it was even, you know, nice to um to work with such interesting, talented people as well. is really is really fun. I mean, I'd known Matt the line, known Matt for like maybe fifteen years. So, but even that, you know, like I'd known Matt for a long time, but I'd never really worked with him before. So that was that was even interesting seeing your friend in a different light and watching them in a work in a workspace as opposed to just the social thing was was um yeah. interesting so i'm assuming that will uh, will carry on then by the sounds of it that's, that's yeah man i mean it's it's um it's so much fun i don't think anyone has any any intention of, of stopping anytime soon you know it's just it's just one of those fun things that will keep ticking over and whenever the, mo- the right moment arises then everyone will jump back on board yeah and what are the plans in terms of of jet then um it's are we likely to hear hear more music of the future from jet I don't think so, you know, like, I, again, it's, it's far more interesting um, flipping from one project to another. And, and these days I'm more stimulated and excited by, by um, trying new things rather than, rather than um, revisiting old stuff. And, or, you know, I, I just don't see, I just don't think it would be, I don't know. <clears throat> I just kind of feel like I'd been there, done that. It's on, I'm more fascinated by trying new things and, and, um, yeah. So, so in that sense, um, of someone who does, who is fascinated by trying new things, constantly wanting to innovate, does it surprise you that um, sort of "Are You Gonna Be My Girl" is still played every single sort of weekend in nightclubs? Or it, it, does that does that baffle you, or is that something? You uh, I mean, it's a, it's a good song, you know. Like, it's a good song, and I think it's it's a good, it's a nice thing. It's a good thing that that song is still appreciated by a lot of people. I mean, that, that makes me happy. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. I can't can't see it stopping anytime soon. It's a staple, it's a staple indie playlist, isn't it? On the... I guess so. I mean it's 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 kind of it's weird when things take on a life of their own. Like I don't kind of feel like I don't feel like um it's my song anymore. Like it kind of like it belongs in the in in the you know it's just yeah. it's kind of taken on a life of its own and it's it's um yeah I mean it's such a long time ago for me too now. Like I was. 19 years old when i when i first started writing that song in my in my in my parents house you know in my bedroom so yeah. it's it even feels like um almost like a different person wrote that yeah 